Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create your own SEO article writer with ChatGPT. So check this out. So I'm going to enter in a keyword and let's say something about computer vision roadmap, right? So maybe the roadmap to computer vision or rather let's just change this computer vision tools, right? And now we can select in this box whether we want it to be casual, informative, witty. We can even add other prompts. To say maybe we can make it funny, we can make it sarcastic. So the world's are oyster, right? So we're just gonna select Witty. And over here we can select our word count. So instead of having to always type it out in ChatGPT, so you can just slide the slide up and down. So if you want uh, 500 words, you can put it over there or a thousand words. Now I have limited it to a thousand words, but you can go up to technically 1,500, 1,700 words. I'm not sure if you would be limited, but you can test it out for yourself. So I'm just gonna set it at the lowest 300 words and I'm gonna say generate. Now while it's generating, it'll give you this prompt to say it's busy generating. I was trying to put in a progress bar for this, uh, but it was very difficult to implement, but maybe in the next iteration. If you'd like to see this, then let me know in the comments down below. Cool, so now we have our output. So check this out, right? So it says, attention all tech enthusiasts. Have you heard about computer vision tools? These amazing tools in artificial will give you the computer's ability to see and interpret images and video humans. So this is quite a nice article. It gives you basic stuff like uh, OpenCV, TensorFlow, PyTorch. So you can give it a bit more detail to say, okay, I want computer vision tools, but for Mac OS right and ios if you say okay i want it to be informative you can increase the word count to 400 and then we can generate the article again so the more specific you are the better the results you'll get but what's nice about this is that you get to select the style that you want and everything stays the same so you don't have to keep on entering this into chat gpt or copying and pasting over and over again this here just makes it super simple for you to implement so over here you can see it has generated the article again it's got tells you everything about apple's vision framework core ml and all of that and this is the cool part right you can download the article so i can click this and it will download the article into a txt format which you can now use for editing or you can copy it into your favorite word editor and then or you can even take this and upload it into medium or linkedin articles or, or even on your blog so now the big question is how do you build this well i'm glad you asked so first up what we're going to do is we're going to head over to store.augmentedstartups.com and this is the AI project so we can get a whole bunch of projects ranging from computer vision and now we just have our new category over here so we're gonna have much more ChatGPT apps in this lineup over here and this project is completely free so you can click on get project and we have the file over here so this tutorial that you are watching right now that tutorial will be a lecture just above here and then you've got the files so it says by project over here but uh, it's actually free I'll just have to change it after the tutorial but if you click on this you'll be able to get into cool so then you'll be greeted by this screen here where you can just go over here to download all of the code and requirements files. We're going to start from scratch and we're going to go to PyCharm and say new project. And this is going to be called Jet GPT SEO Generator. We're using Conda Python version 3.10, right? And then you're going to say create, right? So we're going to create this into a new window. I'm going to just close this. So now what you need to do is we're going to start fresh and we can open up terminal and we can say pup install open AI. And I think that's all that we need to install, but let's check. So now we're going to first import streamlit as st, right? And then we're going to say import open AI. Now we can go ahead and run this just to make sure that we don't get any errors and to see that everything was installed correctly. Cool. So no problems there. Right now it's populating it because I'm using GitHub Copilot. We are using openai.api underscore key and that will equal your API key. So now if you want to get your API key, you'll have to head over to openai. You'll have to create your account. You can go to API reference over here just to get some info about the documentation, how to install it. And if you already have an account, you might have to put in your credit card in order to use the API. So there's pricing over here. So if you click over here, you can get your API key, which you can install into your Python environment. Cool. So I'm not going to do that because I want to keep my API key private. So for now, we're just going to continue coding and we're going to create our first function which will generate the articles generate underscore article and we need three arguments so this will be the keyword that we 
going to input we're going to have our writing style our word count so right here you'll have to be a bit careful because uh, generate the article wants to give you some other whole bunch of other stuff but we are just going to keep it simple and return a fake or pre-scripted text just to say this is a test article generated without making any api calls so the reason why we doing this is that if you for whatever reason don't have access to the API you can still follow along this tutorial and then later on you can come back and then we can do the code for the chat GPT integration so we'll come back to that so we're going to save this we're going to say keyword equals st text underscore input and then we're going to say enter keyword so we've got that okay and then we're going to say writing style underscore style so it's going to say select a writing style so this can be story news academic so i'm going to change this to funny sarcastic and we'll just leave academic there for now so now we've got that so writing style so now we can add in our word count so we're going to say word underscore count so this should actually be word count so word count equals sd slider and the thing practically reads my mind <laughs> the min value will be you can specify min underscore value equals 300 max underscore value called a thousand words and we're going to set our default value to equal 300 now we have that now we can add in our submit button so this will be submit underscore button equals st button and we're going to say generate article i swear this thing is reading my mind <laughs> scary eh? okay so now we're going to say if submit button we're going to give a message equals st dot empty so it's an empty message for now but we're going to populate it and we're going to say message of text and it's going to be generating the article right so then we're going to say article equals the generating article function we're going to put in our keyword writing cell word count which we got over there so we've got word count we've got message dot text and we're going to populate that actually this will be empty so ai is not 100 percent but it does help a, a lot so message dot text and then we're going to say sd dot write article right and then what this does is that it'll take whatever article that we've generated in from here and then we'll write it out to so it'll be on our print screen but rather it'll be on the stream that page so we're going to write that out cool so what we're going to do now is that we're going to create a download button so this button when you click on it it will download whatever text that we generate so you can take it and edit it wherever you want to right so this will be sd dot download button and let's populate all of that why not so the first label will say download article we'll say article that is this one that you got over there that string we'll save it as article that text and mime will be text underscore plain so it can be plain or txt depending on what you want and that's about it guys that's uh before we get into the the chat gpt integration let's just run it and the way you run it is we're going to say back into terminal we're going to say streamlet main.py it's actually streamlet run main.py okay let's see if it works guys okay so now it is launched by itself we've got our local host okay so we've got this thing over here one thing that we forgot to put in is our header so before we run it we're going to say over here sd.title and we're going to call it you guessed it seo article writer with chat gpt don't forget to put it in commas double commas right so now we've got this and let's test it out we're going to put in something obviously it's not going to generate anything we've got funny sarcastic academic and we're going to generate our article so this is the, the dummy text that we have put in. Our, this is our placeholder. And we can see download article. And there we have it, right? Simple as that, guys. Uh, so we've got our article generated ready. Uh, but now the last thing that we need to do is to actually generate the articles with ChatGPT. So now uh, how we're going to do that is we're going to first comment this out. And let's get into it. So we're going to say response equals openai.chat completion dot create right so this is going to create our response so now we're going to specify our model which equals gpt-3.5 and we're going to use the turbo version because we want it fast 
And now we're going to give it some messages. So we can say messages equals, okay, we're going to have that. So you can use GPT-3 for this application, but we want to use the latest and greatest. So we got ChatGPT 3.5. Hopefully we can switch it up to GPT-4 sometime soon. But for now, let's continue. We're going to have, we're going to establish our roles. So we've got role, we're going to select the user. Now this can either be user, system or assistant. I actually don't know what the difference is between three of them, but I'll let you guys know very soon. Okay, so then we're going to ask for content and that will give us our first prompt, which will be to a SEO optimized word article about and we're going to say our keyword. So whatever keyword we're going to put in, it's going to be there. Now we can just simply copy and paste all of this. Don't forget your comma. Paste it once, paste it twice. So we've got a comma there. Cool. So, and don't forget the one here. So this will be role user, the content. And then we're going to say this article should be in style. Okay. And then we're going to say plus writing style. And this one here will be the length of the article. The article length should be str word count. We can delete this keyword over here. Guys, we are almost there. So you're probably looking at me and say, Ritz, you have had this error for quite a long time. It's been annoying me. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Let me, let's correct it. Open AI. Okay. So this one here, we need to cover it up like that and save. Now we are almost done. So we're going to say uh, on the next line, result equals our quotation marks. And then we're going to say for choice in response dot choices and we're going to say results plus equals choice dot message dot content and then finally we're going to print our results and we're also going to output it so we're going to return result and the output from here so this is actually supposed to be one result so this result will feed in so when you call generate article it'll go into you just say article equals generate article keyword right cell word count and then you'll you'll get the output from that into article that gets sent into our um, sd.write and then you can download it to a text file cool so let's test if it works so just note that you need to add in your api key so i'm just going to put this off screen and add in my api key before running it because i don't want anyone using my api keys so i'm just going to do that now Paste it in there and run it. So I'm going to, right now I'm just running. Let's just move this up. Okay, cool. There we go. You can't see it. So I'm going to say streamlet uh, run main.py. Okay, so it opens up the thing. Like we can close all of the other things that we don't need. So there we go. We've got SEO article writer with ChatGPT. So let's say I want a computer vision application for mobile development. So that'll be our article. We want it to be academic. Let's make it a bit long. And now we can generate our article. So let's see what it spits out. Sorry, as an AI language, I am not limited to a specific character count word count could you please provide me with the required word count so yes i made a big mistake which i forgot to correct okay so i realized what the error was is that i misspelled lint i always do this i'm so stupid so let's change it up to lint save this okay um now we go down here and cancel run it again streamlet main.py i'm gonna refresh so let's just do the same thing computer vision development on mobile Right, we're gonna make it academic and select our word count, generate article. Cool, so now it's generating the article. Let's wait and see what we get. Cool, and there we have it, guys. It works. So we've got computer vision development on mobile devices, advancements and challenges, and it gives us some good stuff right over here. And this content's all based on ChatGPT. So whatever you type in ChatGPT will come out here. As the models progress or whichever models you choose, your output may vary depending on that. And then finally, we can download the article and we have it right over here. And this is for us to import it into any other word processor. So you can either upload it directly to LinkedIn articles or Medium or your article place of choice, or you can edit it yourself in Word or Pages. Cool. 
So before we end off this tutorial, I just want to tell you quickly about our upcoming Kickstarter campaign. It's called Computer Vision Mastery for Professionals. Right now, we're going to be launching one week from now, and it's going to contain a whole lot of stuff that you're going to be really excited about, like 300 hours, 100 plus projects. We've got more than 20 courses inside there, and it's just going to be insane. Cool. So I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this full programs. So this will take you from zero to state of the art in a matter of months. You're going to learn everything that you need to know about computer vision from object detection, object segmentation. So if you go over here, you're going to be learning the foundations. We've got a whole bunch of YOLO courses that you can check out for object detection and tracking, building 100 plus apps, object segmentation, pose estimation. We've also got uh, our OpenCV Edge AI section, and we also got our AI specialization stuff. So definitely if you want to back us, there'll be a link down below where you can sign up to get notified of this Kickstarter campaign. You won't want to miss this guys, it's going to be big. So if you want to learn more about ChatGPT, we'll have more tutorials coming up right up here.